Hi guys, hi everyone, hope you're all well. Um, welcome to another video. Thank you to all my subscribers and thank you for leaving comments and liking my videos and thank you for tagging me in your Instagram posts or your Instagram stories when you're watching my videos. I had that happen for the first time this week um, and then two days later I had somebody else um, share my page and my channel name um, and I was just absolutely thrilled, honest to God, it made my week absolutely over the moon so yeah please um if you have me on instagram um yeah please share my um you know if you're watching my channel let me know about it because i love it it's brilliant um and also you're more than welcome to follow my instagram page I'm trying to figure out how I can get my stories shared. So like if I post the link to my YouTube channel, like how, like when I've put a new video up, how I can have it so that someone else can share my story onto like their story. But I just, I spent about an hour and a half last night trying to figure it out and it's just not, it's just not happening. And I don't understand why I've tried like everything so if anyone knows how to do it um or knows of a youtube video that will show me how to do it please let me know because all of the videos that i found were how to share posts well i can share my posts to my stories and i can share other people's stories but it's not giving me the option like even if i go onto my pro if i go onto my personal instagram and then click on my page, um, like my Bridgeton um, Instagram page. You know, when I click on it from my personal Instagram, it's not giving me it's not giving me the option to share my posts onto like my personal Instagram. So I'm assuming that nobody else can. Um, and I'd I'd like just love to get that sorted so that people can share my stories because especially recently I post more on my stories than I do on my posts like as a post I do I do a lot more of as a story um so I would be over the moon to get that sorted today's video is anyway um I'd best crack on to the video. So I have decided to um, do a video at the, well, hopefully it'll be the end of each month or within the first week of the next month um, on how much we spent in the previous month. So this one's a bit late because I've only just decided to do it. But um, this yeah, so I'm going to do an extra video um, going for our total spends for the month. Um, so this one is September's um, and I will include my direct debits as well. So I need to add that to it. So I'll have to get my calculator out. Hang on. So I'll get the calculator out and then I can add, because I know how much all my direct debits come to, so that's fine. Um, yeah, so this is what we spent in September. So hopefully you can all see this. So um, we spent £292.55 um, on food and our budget was 320 That was based on four weeks. Because September was four weeks and one day, so I've based it off four weeks. 
Um, tobacco, we spent £134.21p out of our £200 budget. Petrol, we spent £162.41 out of £120. So we did go over budget. Um, I had some spare money in the bank account to cover that. Um, and the reason it was more was because we had three trips to A&E, which are both which are all an hour's travel each way. Um, and me and my partner both had a hospital appointment, which is, which were an hour travel each way as well. Um, so that's why it was more than normal. Amazon, I spent 76 pound and I honestly can't remember what it was on. Um, I know I brought like this uh, blanket jumper thing, but I don't actually know if that was September or October's money. Um, but yeah, we spent £76 on Amazon. We spent £62.40 on um, family activities and family days out. Um, £85 on my son's sports glasses, which will be refunded, but you know. We spent it so it's within the budget uh 310 pound on my daughter's bedroom carpet and underlay and grippers which we saved in the binders 30 pound on birthdays which was my second son so my middle child's um birthday party deposit that also came out of the binder money Firewood was £15.77, which I took out of miscellaneous at the time because we don't have an envelope for firewood. So I need to do that because it's a lot cheaper if we buy it in bulk. So what I want to do is have enough saved that by August, September, I can order enough to try and get us through winter. Um... This is really shaky again. Oh my god. Um, but so I think last well, last winter we spent one hundred and sixty pound on firewood, and that lasted us from well most of the way through the winter. Um, school we spent five pound, which was school dinners. Miscellaneous was four pound. That was. I bought some polo shirts second hand, but they were actually brand new, still with the tags on, um, for my daughter. And I brought what was the other thing I brought? It was sweets for the kids. Um, so, yeah, so in total, out of our binders um, and out of my purse that I stuff weekly so all our cash spends I suppose you could say although some of these I obviously did have to transfer to the bank um, so yeah all of our well it's all of our spends for the month to be honest because other than our direct debits we do everything in cash now um, and anything we spend on Amazon and stuff like that, I log it on my, in my purse. So this is all of our spends for the month, not including our direct debits. And then, so in total that came to £1,177.34p. And we have a hundred. Well, it will go up from next month because our gas and electric has gone up um, as of the 2nd of November. But our direct debits for September were 1035 So, I think it's like £1,034 and a few pennies. Um, I always put like 140 thousand and forty in there or something around there but they actually come to what yeah thousand and thirty four p and so many pence it's like 
just round it up to 1,035. So if we add it up on here, £2,212.34p for September is our total spend. And that's, like I said, that's all spends, all direct debits, um, you know, mortgage, absolutely everything. That's everything we spent in September. So it's not too bad. I have set a goal for October of... I think it's £950 of like what would be listed here um, plus £500 spending money because we go on holiday at the end of October so the total would be £1,450 plus um, our direct debits which will also be higher but we'll discuss that when we get to our October spends um so yeah and this is you know this is for a family of five um so to be honest I don't think it's too bad at all to be honest considering the bulk of it is food and petrol obviously like Lu Luna's carpet that won't be that's like a one-off now it's paid for and it's done um so yeah i think we did quite well um i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll be back again in october for end of october actually no it won't be the end of october it will be the first week in november um or at some point in november for october because the end of october we are away um, and we don't get back until the end of the first week in November. Um, but yeah, so I'll be doing another one of these videos in a month's time and let you know what we spent in October. I figured it was a great way for me to just add everything up and keep a better track on what... Um, we are spending. I'm also going to try and do a video, maybe not every month, but every couple of months on how much we've managed to cash stuff. Um, you know, how much of how much is in the binders. Um, just because if I get to a point where I find that there's maybe too much in one and not enough in another, like it gives me a chance to like swap it all about and you know it just keeps me accountable of where i'm at so yeah hope you enjoyed my video please like subscribe and comment um that would be absolutely amazing i hope you all have a fantastic weekend because it is now thursday afternoon um love hugs positivity and prayers to you all see you soon Thank mm -hmm. you.